Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Yo, 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 yo. Take it Welcome back to yo, yo, That is fire. Oh, that is fire. Never done that before. Hey, so that James is fire. wanted me to tell you about. We have a topics list. Yeah, we have a Google Sheets file with topics that we. Uh, whenever an idea pops into our heads and we want to share it on the show, we write it in there so we won't forget. James asked me. I was waiting for a good segue, but James wanted to know. He said, What is this topic you have called tying your shoes? And I explained to him when I was in pre ugh, preschool and I was trying to learn how to tie my shoes. I couldn't figure it out. It became like the sole purpose of my existence to figure it out. And I just, for the life of me, could not figure out how to tie my shoes. And I got super upset about it. And I was beating myself up. And I was like, oh my god. And again, I was a preschooler. I was like, <laughs> I'm never going to learn how to tie my shoes. And then I'm Fuck. never going to be able to pass preschool. And I'm always going to be stuck in preschool. And then I'm never, <laughs> no one's going to want to marry me because who wants to marry someone who can't tie their shoes? And Fair it, point. And it became this, this like the center point of my existence. And it was really funny looking back on it that I was like so distraught that I couldn't learn how to tie my shoes. And I figured it out like probably a week after that or maybe even days. I don't know. But when you're that young, everything feels like oh, eternity. It's like a, the biggest deal. Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty funny. Like I look back on it like, wow, there was a point in my life. Like I do that at university. Like, oh, man, I don't know if I can pass this fucking Calc 3 exam. Like I've studied so much and I still don't understand this topic very well to the point where if like, you know, I had to do this. I, I don't Am know I, I ever going to graduate? Yeah, I was like, shit, what if I fail this test? And then I'd just be like, ah, remember that one time I thought life was <laughs> over because I couldn't tie my shoes? Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's actually kind of neat. It's like something that, fuck, fuck, fuck. Jeez, wow, I don't usually suck at this part. Says, says I, at least. Says I. Says me. Says I, Sam's as Ams. Yeah, no, I, I remember, uh... Fuck! Ah, it was so bitch. close! God! <sighs> No, that's 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 interesting. I remember before when my when my dad was trying to teach me how to tie my shoes. Yeah. Like I, for some reason, I struggled with it, even though he showed me right then and there. Uh -huh. I'd be he'd be like, okay, here's how you do it. Okay, now you do it, and I'd do like a really shitty job. I'd be like, okay, put it there, there, there. Then I just look up up at him, and he'd be like, no. And I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. yeah, no. If 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 he said, okay, now do this, what well, everything little thing I do, you do. You're gonna get shot here. If if um if we had done it like that, I probably would have learned better. But I don't know. But yeah. anyways, like for it, eventually it got to the point where I was like, I don't want to tie my shoes. Screw it. I'll just wear Velcro strap shoes for the rest of my life. <laughs> and uh, um eventually he's like, okay, you know what? No video games until you learn how to tie your shoes. And I was like, <gasps> I'm learning how to tie my shoes. I mean, that's always what my parents would do whenever they'd need me to do something. It's like if my grades are failing, no video games till you, your C plus is a B minus. And I'm like, ah. Damn. Yeah. My parents just got out the 12 gauge and stuck it in my butt. And they're like, who's a little bitch? And I'm like, no, who's a little bitch? I'm like, me. They're like, that's right. Next time I'm pulling the trigger, my motherfucker. And I was like, oh, Jesus. And then I fixed the problem. Did <laughs> you? Did, did they ever pull the trigger when it was up your uh, rectum? No, I'd be dead. Oh. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I don't know why I never think of these For things. what it's worth, that never happened. Yeah, okay. That, that makes sense. I'm glad you didn't die. No, they never stuck the shotgun in my butt. I oh, died. okay. They never point a gun at me. Oh. I point a gun in my own butt. Here's a really dramatic part. Listen to the trumpets. You know, Conker's kind of like Ferris Bueller, and that he's like always looking at the at the player, and so he's like, "Yeah, this is this." Conker's kind of like Ferris Bueller. You know, Conker's kind of like Bugs Bunny. You know, Conker's kind of like Jack Daniels. You know, Conker's kind of like Trump. You know, Conker's kind of like Conker. Oh my god. Nipple. We've, we've gone full circle. Have, Please don't nipple me. Have, have you ever seen I'm Ferris Bueller's Day of Off? That. Yeah, I have. <laughs> You're not a fan of getting your nipple poked? Yeah, I don't really? like getting my nipple poked. No, oh, but I, I like doing it. I'm so, sure you do. And you can I, poke your own nipple. I just, matter, I just matter more, so therefore my happiness... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking nipple, bitch! You don't like that shit, huh? <laughs> um, Grabbed his boob. Yeah, he just did. Um... Yeah, no, the way Conker talks to the players kind of reminds me of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I like that. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the movie, but yeah, just, I like to point shit out. 
Fuck make... off, Alexa. Fuck off, Alexa. Oh, not this again. Fuck off, Alexa. Fuck off, Alexa. <laughs> Jesus. We're good. Okay, okay. Uh, I think the right thing to do is just say never mind. Um. <laughs> fucking die. Yeah, no, I like that too. I like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Because yeah. again, it's kind of like one of those high schooler, almost coming of age story kind of thing. Oh yeah, no, so that's right up your alley then. Totally. Right up my butt. Did you know um, like the shotgun. Matthew Broderick, the Who's guy who that? played Ferris? Oh, okay. He, uh, he, he's the guy who played adult Simba. Oh, uh, Simba, yeah. Simba, Simba, Simba. Yep, that Simba, one. Simba, Simba. That Simba. Simba. Apparently he has a really crappy film career right after The Lion oh. King happened. Apparently his career hasn't been as successful. Mm. Well, you should have ate, ate those little lasagna nuggets from that producer. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying half the time. I don't oh, know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Do you, are you pretty good at getting through these? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Mm, this part kicked my, Well, the part where you have to leave. just. Oh, my God. That is the fucking hardest yes. part of the oh, game. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. All I gotta do is just stand still and just hold the trigger. And then those motherfuckers, they go bye-bye. Yeah, baby. They take a, a nap for a little while. They're gonna become... Oh, yeah. Oh, breathe it in. You're already smoking. Oh, yeah. Double smoking. smoke smoking's not enough. smoke section. All right. Hey, bro, Tendo. <laughs> Pro Tendo. Yeah. I like that. I'm pretty sure Eric Andre is just on the show. That's probably where it came from. Eric? Oh, Eric Andre. But I know I've heard that before him. He did not come up with Pro Tendo. Dude, I, I love it when he freaking... What's his name? Jack McBrayer? Yeah. I love it when he's on the show and Jack is like all confused. Like, oh, what's going on? And then suddenly just bullets hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fireworks. Or fireworks or yeah, whatever. Just like dropped a bunch of fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that show's funny. Yeah. Elliot and I give it a thumbs up. I give it three thumbs up. Mm-hmm. I had to borrow someone's thumb. I said, Jen, can I borrow your thumb? She's like, only if you give it back. And I gave it a thumb up. Hey, uh, you know, there's actually something I wanted to say that's completely off subject. Um, sure. Something you wanted to say completely off subject. I'm repeating, because when you go like that, it's very hard for them to hear you. Oh. Oh, uh, thank you, Elliot. Yeah. You're a smart little boy. No, I'm not. So, um... You know one thing that I, Oh my god. I think this that's game That's too disgusting for me. That that's too disgusting for me. That was his arm. Oh yeah, that that's too much. But necrosis balls. Yeah, that's that's necrosis. Mm hmm Yeah, sure. So um you know this game's a lot like Alice in Wonderland? Bear with me on this. The story is a lot like Alice in Wonderland. Can we get the Twilight Zone theme, please? Do, 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 no, 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 like, you edit it in and, and tell the story. Okay. No, no, that's copyrighted music. Well, should that matter? Nah, we're I mean, not monetized. I mean, we're playing we're playing a game, and we're... Sh if we were monetized... Fair use? I think it's fair use if we're not monetized. Uh, don't, don't edit it in. I want the viewer to put it in your head. Here, okay. find a copyright-free song and put it in instead. Or I'll just do it myself. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, anyways. You gotta talk while you do it. Anyways. Uh, I think I, so. Swag. Swag. Okay, anyways. Okay, anyways. To the fucking point. Okay, anyways. So, um, I feel like the story of this game is a lot like Alice in Wonderland. Because you know how, um, in that, in that movie, it's like, or that story, it's just like a whole bunch of random crap that happens. Okay. It's just Alice just going from one crazy character to the next. Yeah. This game's kind of like that. It's very random. It's like... Sure, yes. It's like one instance, oh, I'm doing this with this character. And the next instance, oh, I'm talking to this walrus or Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. Yeah, then I'm suddenly giant, blah, blah, blah. It, this game's randomness really reminds me of that. And, you know, it's funny. Uh, Chris Seaver... Uh, he actually wrote the beginning and ending monologues for the game. Yeah. He wrote those ahead of time. Everything in between those two parts yeah. is totally just was made up over a series of, over a period of time with, mm. by him and the team. They were just like, okay, what should we do here? Okay, what should we do here? Dude, let's have a giant piece of shit sing. Okay, <laughs> now let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. It, it, you can tell mm. by how random the game is. How, But yeah, no, the, <coughs> almost everything in this game is just improvised and come up with on the spot, but... Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think that's pretty 
Haku. I think yeah. It's... Well, I think, though, in um, Alice. In Alice in Wonderland, there's a lot of like allusion and allegory to other things that happen. I think it's planned out. Oh yeah. I don't know that for sure, but I think that's the case. Yeah, I don't know how to. Like some stories or is have. This is just fucking random. It's like. Like some stories, like the the creator of the story, whether it be a screenwriter or a book writer, like they there's some where like they know pretty much every main plot point that's gonna yeah. happen. It's like they have it planned out. They then just have to write it. Uh, yeah. And, I, um. Improvise. Yeah, improvise, and then yeah. there's like, shit like this, where it's like, okay, I know the beginning and no, end. No, this is improvise. Yeah. It, it, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I'm trying to l- listen to so, me here. I'm trying to be all intelligent, be like, this story narrative is like this because I'm getting fucked get in the fucked. ass by this Teddy and. Dead. So, uh, yeah. Next time on Royal Gobes. Okay, bye. Hate myself. Okay, bye.